Hello, everybody. Happy new moon. Yeah, I know. Don't look at my hand. I haven't washed the tan off yet, okay? If you want to know how the new moon is going to affect you, I did make a video on it the other day. However, if you want a longer explanation, I highly suggest subscribing to my YouTube channel where I help people who desperately want to understand astrology understand it in a very simple, non-woo-woo, realistic approach way. Let's get into what I want to talk about today. Jupiter is stationing retrograde. What does that mean? Jupiter is the planet of good luck, good fortune, windfalls of success. It's knowledge, philosophy, gaining wisdom through experience it's foreign matters it's travel it is the world at large actually now that i'm thinking about it this time last year i believe jupiter was going retrograde actually more so towards september and i think at the time i was saying that this was going to affect um travel restrictions regarding covid and now that i'm thinking of the monkeypox i need to look into it more but i might be making a little connection there however what i was going to say was jupiter retrograde doesn't affect us in the same chaotic way that mercury or venus retrograde does those are quicker moving planets so they kind of infiltrate into our lives in a much more detailed getting from point a to point b way so the way that we communicate our cars our technology the emails that we send to the people that we work with this is going to be a little bit different it's actually going to give us a second shot or a second opportunity at something that we had to maybe walk away from or something that fell through before something that we maybe even didn't ha even have like the mental strength the perspective the philosophy in order to commit to at the time i actually wrote a patreon article about this at the beginning of the year pertaining to particularly kourtney kardashian's chart because i think a lot of people thought earlier this year that she was pregnant and they thought she had a baby bump she didn't so rude and i was like i don't think she's pregnant right now but i do think she's going to have a second opportunity once jupiter goes retrograde because aries i believe rules her first or second house and there was a connection there where i was like she's gonna have a second shot at growing something important to her and that's really what we're talking about here it's a second opportunity to go back retrace our steps and have a second opportunity to grow something nurture something improve something perfect time to go back to school perfect time to go back to a passion project that maybe you didn't have enough resources for this is all going to affect everybody differently of course based off of your rising sign and i do talk about that on patreon and how it's going to affect you particularly however i I think collectively this is going to be something where we're backtracking and maybe taking a little bit step back when it comes to things regarding self-identity war too because aries does rule those things as well which leads me into my other point regarding the mars uranus and north node conjunction yep intensity i know everybody's been talking about it i'm going to talk about that in a different video go catch me there